Hello everyone and welcome back to our video course. Today we are going to create a simple U-Bolt. It will consist of the primitives we already made, torus sector, two chamfered cylinders and standard nuts. So let's get started. First create a new module called U-Bolt 701. This means standard type of U-Bolt from Gradior company. Let's import the necessary modules from primitives.nuts import nut and from primitives import everything. Okay, let's define the class ubolt701 which inherits from shape object. Good. Let's manage then with dimensions. I've already prepared the table and again, we'll ask ChatGPT to help us generate the parameter dictionary and we'll simply copy it into our code. Also, we'll need a variable for the maximum thickness of the connection plate. Later, we will need it to define the maximum movement of the nuts in order not to have them far away in the air. Good. Let's start then with the constructor of our class. For our bolt, we will need the nominal diameter, uh, also whether it is a fixed point or not, and the thickness of the connection plane. And that's it. Now let's define the dimensions first and assign them to the variables. Okay. Let's begin. First of all, I suggest we define a leg. We'll use a chamfered cylinder for this. The diameter will be self.m. The height will be self.v. And the chamfer will be self.m divided by 10. Just a small one. Then we will translate it downward. And that's it for this element. Then prepare the two nuts. The first nut will be the upper one. Its diameter will be self.m. And we will translate it down uh, to the bottom of the pipe. On, on the half of uh, self.dp, it is diameter of the pump pipe, sorry. And just for clarity, I'll rotate it a bit, just to see the difference between two nuts. And the second one, actually everything is the same, and also move it down to the bottom of the pipe. And that's it for the leg assembly. Okay, now also if our U-bolt is used as a fixed point, both nuts must be located under the connection plate. To achieve this, at first we define the maximum possible thickness of the connection plate based on the length of the legs. Okay. Then, we simply check whether our declared t is less than or equal to this maximum value. If so, we move both nuts under the plate using a loop. Okay. Otherwise, if the U-bolt is not a fixed point, we'll only move the second nut under the plate. The first nut will remain above. Again, we define the maximum plate thickness. In this case, we will minus only one nut height and just move the bottom nut under the connection plate. And that's it. Just combine all the elements into one body and return it. So we are done with the legs. 
Now let's assemble the entire U-bolt. First, we'll create the torus sector. Its diameter will be self.l. The thickness will be self.m. And the angle will be from 90 degrees to 270. Then I'll rotate it slightly using Y just to align it with the X axis. Now we'll take the legs we already prepared and move the first one to the right and the second one to the left. And then combine everything into one model. And Oh, uh, one more thing. If we are using the u bolt as a fixed point, we need to move it down slightly so it touches the pipe and doesn't leave a gap. And that's it. Now, in our test script, let's import our new component and just test it. So, u bolt 701. Let's say the N15 and fixed point 0. Let's copy the test script line. Uh, you know what? It's probably not the best idea to name modules starting from the underscore. Just use a clean name and add the component class inside. And also, I forgot to rotate the second line. Right now, it is in the same orientation as the upper one. So we'll rotate it downward either by Y or along the X axis. That will do it. Okay. So now we are ready. Just open the AutoCAD, the copy the test line, register the script, insert into the command line, and check it out. That's it. And remember, the X axis must be aligned with the pipe axis. Thank you and see you soon.